24 ordinary men and women are about to go head to head with the most extraordinary obstacle course ever assembled. Those brave enough must be prepared to endure breathtaking spills, spectacular tumbles, and catastrophic falls. Only the swiftest and fastest four will move on and compete in our final obstacle course, the biggest of them all, the Wipeout Zone. The final step in the journey to $50,000. The epic competition begins now to see who will emerge victorious and who will wipe out. Oh, it's okay, he broke the fall with his face. Your face might be a little damaged after this meal. Now Neil has to return over the years of doom where they might get chewed up by our big team. And in this time the league will send you straight back in. Okay, go, okay? You do your wipe out. Oh, oh you got wipe out. I, I was in the water. And finally our competitors have to navigate their way through the door. So now we only need three more people to wipe out before we move on to the final six. Ah! Whoa! Ariel's the only girl left, and she almost goes down. Show us what this thing can do. Come on. Do not taunt the sweeper, Kyle. And there goes Mike. Well, flipping over the bar. Delmar goes down. Chris taking it off the face, but he manages to hang on. Ariel from the door. She just went south. That was phenomenal. Check out the sweeper's path of destruction here. Mike takes one off the chest. Which cannot be good for his pacemaker. Will Riddo does a hip-hop dance move kind of thing. Well, we're Riddo him. Delmar, so impressed by Will's dance move that he does the robot and goes into the water himself. And... Oh, he got wiped out. Wiped out. Wiped out. <laughs> okay, you wiped out. Let Owen do it now. Contestant from Alaska is shivering. Here we go. Five people still in the game. Three spots remain. It's time for the pole vault. It's going really fast. <laughs> in fact, the speed has been increased. That's right, because when you double the dizzy, you double the dumb. Wait, something's brewing with Jaren. Oh, this doesn't look good. We have wipeout history, John. Jaren is the first contestant to ever return his lunch on the Dizzy Dummy. I can't look at that. Nick, preoccupied with the thought that perhaps the dummy might be a metaphor for the cyclical nature of the subprime mortgage market, or just unfazed by vomit. Dizzy Dummy. But what do you tell? On you. Ready? Ready? Boom! Whoa! You <laughs> come right back. Oh, you got time to go down. <laughs> oh, and use the force again. Boom! <laughs> and you're gonna fly back. How many gonna fly back? No! <laughs> I got a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What are you doing, huh? Wow. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna stab you. Yeah. Now I got your weapon. Now you can't even defend the force. Use the force. I go flying. 